Hello everyone, it is this kid tune 77 here, also known as Connor, and uh, today I've got for you something a little bit different. This is um, Space Engineers, and my screen just did something really weird. Uh, I don't know what. Um, so this ship, uh, I'm calling it the Aegis, or Aegis, or whatever it is. Um, Zeus's shield, because this is an escort craft. Um, its sole purpose is to go around and escort the gigantic capital ship I'm building, and yes, you can expect to see the video of this. So that's it from the exterior, um, we're gonna go and uh, take a little bit of a look inside. This is the... This is the hangar bay, um, you can have fighters land here and whatnot. It's, it's not really meant to repair any of them, just mainly store them or bring back damaged ones. It's rudimentary, really, it's not really a proper fighter bay. It doesn't repair or any of that. Um, got your airlock doors that aren't airlocks. In here, this was going to be a mess hall, but I didn't want to do the detail without any mods. And, well, if you want to put something else in here, you can. Uh, so, that's the thing. Here is what I really like. Oh, the door's already open. This is an arena. You know, got one side over there, one side over here. Colors of the United Colonies flag, which is the color of this ship. Um, on the exterior, some turrets there. Now, before I go up, I'm gonna go down and show you the bowels of the ship. Um, this here is the observation deck. You can see beautiful things below if you really wanted to. Uh, interesting feature I have here. Lights out. Lights on, you know, just in case you wanted to be dark and look at the stars. Um, this is the auxiliary power room. So if the engines and reactors get taken out, you still have a chance to get away, power your systems, fight back. Um, there are two of these rooms. It's mirrored left to right. Uh, not up and down. Only two. Um, in the middle here, I'm guessing everyone would know which room this is. This is the... Oh, pff. Yeah, I forgot about these things. Um, this is the grab gen room and the beacon room. Part of the ship. Uh, do, 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 do. This is a little bay for some gyroscopes. Here's the main gyro bay. Full of them. Absolutely full of them. This is the engine room. Now, I couldn't go with a large reactor, so I just went with many small reactors all hooked up. So there are two high by, I don't know how many, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So seven times two, fourteen, there are. 28 reactors on either side, which means there are... I'm not good at doing math right now. I, uh, If you don't know, I'm, I'm sounding a bit tired for a reason. I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule, and the only good way I could do this is by, well, staying up all night and um, going to bed at a reasonable time the next day. So that's what's going on. Um, so pardon me for that. Uh, gonna go up again, and I'm gonna show you the back of the ship first, and we'll make our way toward the bridge. Or is it a cockpit? Blah, 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 blah. A cockpit in the ship. I would now double doors here because why not? This is the storage room with all the cargo containers for your weapons and whatnot. It's not the prettiest thing I know, but it gets the job done. Here we have the, you saw the glass over the uh, fighter bay. This is where I guess fighter command would be or whatnot. There are two of them. Again, it's mirrored left to right. So if one gets taken out, it's not a big deal. In here, well, it's just a room. You can put stuff in here. You know, it's just there. Um, 
I didn't want to do it with mods because the creators could submit this into their thing. I didn't know how to add the hashtag or the tag to it. But this is all done without mods, and oh, this door's open. Um, this leads to one of the exterior turrets. Um, so yeah, there's no mods in here, otherwise I'd have bunk beds and normal beds and offices and stuff in there. Uh, on the right, it's just a normal room. Here is the medical room. Three med bays. You know, just in case, or a lot of people want to spawn up once. And now for the bridge slash cockpit. Um, no defenses in here, but there's some cover you can crouch down behind, like, here and shoot at. Um, many control panels, but the main thing is up here. This is where you can, uh, there's two, two main control seats here and here. It, what's that over there? It seems that they have found us. So I thought it would be great to, um, you know, just show you how this ship actually performs. Um, we're gonna get it in a bit of a, in a bit of a scrape here. But we get to show off its front armament. Oh, and also, fun little feature. Uh, are they working right now? Those lights should be, yeah, there they go, they're blinking. Only a few of them are, that's odd. But yeah, we're gonna get up nice and close in here and we're gonna give this guy a surprise. Now this thing moves abysmally slowly. Like, it is ridiculously slow. But, we'll make do. Expect the leg to begin as we close within 800 meters. And this thing starts firing at us. Oh shit! I don't have... Yeah, they took out one of our rocket launchers. Yeah, paint that target red. Whoa, we are blowing up the side of it. Um, apologies for the lag. They are taking out our rocket launchers. thing is designed, again, to be an escort. Now, if you get down the front end of this thing, you have another thing coming. Maybe we should go move and take out the other turrets. Um, yeah, up here. Oh, they took out all our rockets. Okay, it's time to spin this thing around. Fire my pretties! Are we not shooting it? Come on guys! Shoot him! Um... I guess I didn't set up the turrets. Oh shit, we're crashing! <laughs> oh, we're in it. Um, are we going straight through it? There's definitely a lot of lag happening. Are we just gonna explode? Oh, don't catch up, game. Not right now, don't catch up. So we're gonna try and get out of here. Oh, one of its turrets just blew itself up, I think. Oh, no. It's still shooting at us. Okay, now its turret blew itself up. No, no, it's still going. Oh man, our front is shredded. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, come on. 
turn off those inertial dampeners. Let's just get out of here. Come on, let's go. Now this thing is vulnerable from the back. Just saying. Um, well, its turrets have a blind spot at the back and the front. It's its front more than well makes up for it. Wow, look at the remains of this thing. We have a gash. Oh my gosh, we have a gash torn in our side. Yeah, they're still fighting. I didn't have my turrets properly set up. Oh wow, they are still shooting at us. Let's try and get away from them. We're not, <laughs> we're not accelerating very fast. <laughs> they took out most of our rear engines. Oh, come on, man. Stop shooting at us. Come on, man. Just let us get away. I think one of our... No, our auxiliary power is still there. I might have to reverse it. They really shot us up. Wow. Come on, man, stop aiming for our engines. What are you aiming for? We're almost past 800 meters, so we should stop getting it in a second. Wow. Come on, man, just stop it. You know, if our turrets had been working, we'd be giving them a hard time, too. Jesus. Oh, did we finally? Yeah, okay. Let's put our inertial dampeners on. We can stop easy, at least. That's a good thing. Uh, gonna get out. Let's... Let's survey the... Wow, damage. Oh, bye-bye, piece of us. So, looks like a rocket got in here from the side, yeah. Did. It came through here and smashed up into there. The raised cockpit survived mostly. Most of the fire went beneath us. And this little bit of armor here saved this control seat. So I have no doubt that everyone, most of the people, if not everyone in here, survived. Um, <laughs> that's not something you want to see. Wow. So this, this side, which we turned left, um, the right side was exposed. How's our room in here? It is gone. Just gone. It's been obliterated. Um, this ship is now scrap metal. Uh, wow, okay. This is that room where the turret was behind. Um box where the turret was sitting on is still there, so good to know. This one's fine, obviously. Oh, look at that twisted metal. This hallway is gone. Completely gone. Oh, <laughs> as a piece of us drifts by. Um, it still, it still flies, I mean, it didn't take out all of our key systems. Uh, a big chunk was ripped through the hull here. What's in this room? This is one of the fighter bay rooms. Where did this come from? There's nothing running up here that would... Where did this come from? Did it come from the other ship? That's a bug and a half. Look at that. We can see through the ship. Huh. How did this side fare? Not as well. Um, the lower decks look like they've been... Uh, <laughs> wow. Back here is shredded. Cargo containers won't work anymore. Um, it is debris all over this ship. This floor looked like it got the worst of it. Uh, there's not much left there in terms of stuff. Oh, some of our stuff down there is still connected. Um, I lost all the glass in the back. Yeah, they shot up the back a lot. Uh, look at all this deformation. This is detached. 
This is one of our engine rooms, I think. I'll go down and check later. Uh, oh, something hit here. Probably came in from that side. But hey, I mean, at least the crew will be happy. They can still watch the game. Um. <laughs> uh, disregard that chunk of metal that's floating. front here, I'm imagining, is messed up. Yeah, the only thing that connects is this one. This isn't connected, apparently. Even though it looks connected, the one's probably damaged beyond repair, then again, so... Who knows? Uh, do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Interior turrets. This level looks fine, and in fact it mostly is, and this is why the bridges are above and below and not in the middle, because the middle soaks up the most damage, um, as we've seen, because both the top and bottom decks are mostly intact, um, the holes in the floor and ceiling. This, this got absolutely ripped apart. I think this is where we crashed into him, though, so... We're missing lots of our auxiliary power here, but all of this is still there. Uh, we haven't lost many of our gyros, and that's surprising considering what we took. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're missing some engines. Some engines are disconnected. But for the most part, they're there. We're missing a lot of gyros, but still, a lot of them are still here. It's rough walking on this. system. So we still got some stuff hooked up to the conveyor system, not that it would matter, but uh, we still got some of our thrusters. It's a slow ship to begin with, so there, there'd be many of these and it would be supported by a battleship generally. Um, yeah, this is where this detached hole where the window was. And this one's mostly fine, even though it got a raping from the back. Uh, <laughs> and all oh, this looks fine. The side's completely untouched. Oh, you ain't getting into that, that room can't even push the button. Wow. Now, does this still go up? Yeah, this one's fine. Now, I think I'm gonna actually cut my way in here. Uh, let's see if I can squeeze through this little gap. Can. So it looks like the missile hit here and warped the hell out of all of this. But the turrets are still attached, the grav gen is still attached, and our beacon is still attached. Which are all very important things. Um, wow, look at that. A rocket came through here, straight through into the front of the ship here, twice, it looks like. Or it went in through here, one of the two. Maybe the front would be more likely. It still flies though, and that's what surprises me now. It doesn't have that thick of an armor, which is probably a good thing. Uh, up here survived fairly well, beaten and battered for the most part. If our turrets were working, we would have given that thing hell. Not that we didn't. Uh, its antenna are still attached. We're missing two engines up here missing four engines back here. Yeah, look at that. It got messed up. Missing a turret. We're missing a lot of stuff. The key systems are still there. And look at this rocket turret is still here. It doesn't appear to be functioning. Fortunate. Um, that's where that one was. There's no turret there. I oh, know, 
it's still in the shape of a ship, it's very beat and battered. Let's go see how the other one fared. <laughs> Leftover remains. All that was not attached. It looks pretty messed up. They're bits and pieces of our ship. You can stop shooting at me, man. Ain't gonna get anything done. So this is where we shot the most part of it with our rockets. And... It looks like to be in a similar condition. Uh, not really. It, it tore us up. It, it tore us up real bad. So if you ever want to assault these things, come in from the back. Because this is where you do the most damage. Oh wow! That pushed me real far. That's good to know. It will push you. Come on. Gotta be creative when it's coming into the, these things. Oh, let's do it. Oh, no, 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 Let's come in from this thing from the front. It's blind spot. Never mind, it actually doesn't have a blind spot from the rear. Those those Gatling turrets will chew you up. I want to come in from the right side because that's where there's absolutely nothing. Yeah, there we go. No firing. Oh, oh, shit. Down, down. There we go. Uh, we opened up a hole in it to its bridge. Not a big deal. Did we tear up its med bay? That's an important question. Kinda. It's still got one left. Uh, big holes here and here. We took out all of its front stuff, I think. Ooh. Deformation deep in here. It saddens me that this isn't gone. this doing? It's gonna get annoying. Uh, mostly here. You know, disappointing. This looks entertaining. Yeah, here we go. We tore a bit of it. Whoa, we tore a lot of it up here. Wow, look at that. So, obviously, the most vulnerable part of this ship... Ouch, the faults with that. The most vulnerable part of its ship is the eating area and the gaming area. Because that glass does not hold up to rockets at all. But I mean, this, this section of the ship doesn't really matter, if you think about it. And this is where the majority of the ships aim. This is right in the middle. Oh shit. No, 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 guys, guys, guys. Let me do my thing. Oh god, those turrets are annoying. The leg isn't helping either, there's some slowdown. Obviously because of all of the bent metal. Get, get into the bottom here. And yeah, shoot me all you want. Oh my god, that's annoying. There we go. So this observation deck actually got torn up. I aimed for the wrong area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot me. Gyro floating, that's a good sign. Oh, 
um, torn open, but still here. All of the engines are still here. Wow, I didn't aim for any of this. I should have been aiming for that, take out its reactors. Oh, oh, something can see me. Hello. A big hole here. That's confusing. How did... Oh. Uh, its hangar bay got messed up. Not as badly as mine, but it's missing a lot. Well, on that note, um, I'm going to end the video. And... God, those rocket turrets are active. Well, on that note, I'm going to end the video and, um, well, I guess until next time, and I mean, if you, uh, like the video, please like the video, and, uh, please do consider subscribing, and, uh, drop a like and a comment, because they help my channel out quite a bit. I always want to see your feedback, um, and, so first time I'm going to say this, uh, there will be a download link in the description of the video to the Steam page, um, and yeah, again, uh, until next time, everyone.